What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2122 Canadian Prison Basketball just sold out. This is a one box hobby break. Random division number one. Number two is in the store, guys. So this is coming from a fresh case, and we're able to get to random division of the NBA. All cards ship. Here we go. Here's the dice roller. The six customer names with the divisions. Let's roll it. And we got ourselves a one and a six seven times. Good luck. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, seven times. Richard, down to Brian Frank. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, seven, 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 seven. Southwest, down to the Atlantic. Here we go. So, Richard, you have Southwest, Chris with Southeast, Randy with Pacific, Michael with Central, Andrew with Northwest, and Brian Frank with Atlantic. Now, of course, uh, obviously, some divisions most likely will be better than others. Um, but, uh, you know, you're looking at potentially, let's say, like... Uh, so that's the central to have, of course, Kate Cunningham, Indiana Pacers with, uh, you know, Chris Duarte. Then you have, obviously, Josh Giddy with the Western Conference in Northwest. And then you have, you know, Jalen Green uh, in the uh, Southwest with Houston. Um, so just thinking, of course, of the bigger rookies, potentially what we have right there. Adam also just took the Guardians, so we're down to just one left. One left in definitive, so that most likely will be our next break. So, like I said, one left on that, and then I can also repost it most likely after and do the last box break. Runners at the corners, though, isn't the best thing when it comes to baseball because you could double play it just like Bellinger just did. All right, guys. Well... I guess no trades, right? Stick to what you got. Come on, Luxy. Come on, Gavin. Dude, way out there. All right, here we go, guys. So, fresh case, guys. Nice. There you go, man. All right, well, just like for most breaks, guys, obviously, we keep them all intact. Um... We'll just generate a random box number, pretend obviously one through six on the left, one through, or seven through 12 on the right. And then from here on out, we'll just randomly get boxes and I'll just like X them in the middle so you guys can know that that's from the same case. We'll most likely, like I said, just randomly grab from here on out. So let's generate a new number really quick. Eleven. So that'll be the second to last box right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right here. 
Wow. Bases loaded on a f walk. And Mookie's up to bat. That dude's been red hot right now. Mookie's goaded if he has a grand slam right now. I know, but he's played well though, Terry. I mean, he had two home runs yesterday, right? So, but yes, he's had his opportunities. Third time's a charm, though, right? As they say. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, that was right down the middle too. Justin Holiday, Fireworks Donovan Mitchell, another foul ball. Dun, 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 dun. Jordan Nora for the Milwaukee Bucks, which would be going to uh, Central. And Ayo, Do Sunma, Sunmu. Come on, Mookie. Ugh. Chasing that ball. Luckily, he's hitting the ball at least. And Terry Rozier for the Charlotte Hornets. Which is going to the southeast. Chris Duarte, the Optic, 75 years of NBA. It's the first time I've actually seen a rookie, though. There it is. Oh, well, it's, it's gonna go. It's okay. He's gonna run. He's gonna bring a run in. Well, at least he tied it. Paul Pierce in a Victor Oladipo to one forty nine. That was a great at bat, man. Obviously good enough to still keep his keep the bat on the ball. Almost got it though. He almost, he almost had it. And Gavin Lux just stole, so that's good. Evan Mobley. Ben Simmons hyper. And here's our first auto. 
Oh. Wow, they actually have retro autographs this year around. Damn. Car Anthony Towns. Remember, this is the uh, famous 2012-2013 uh, Prism. They actually have autos. That's awesome. T-Wolves. Car Anthony Towns. So that's going to go to the Timberwolves. Uh, that's Northwest. Except for the Strohs. I know. I was just talking to Teddy right now. Globe, like, he's a big Red Sox fan. And I said, you know, you still love Mookie. And he said, yeah. But, you know, honestly, right now I don't really care for baseball because the way the, the, way the Yankees are winning... It just it just doesn't make me want it just makes me not want to watch baseball. <laughs> and he's obviously a New Yorker. He grew up uh, in New York, but somehow his uncle got him into the into the Red Sox. Well, I think he said that he hated that everybody in his family liked the Yankees, so he rooted for the Red Sox, and then he actually started liking them. But really funny though. This is the thing, Glow Glowbug. Are they gonna do that in the playoffs? Because. They can win all you want. You can win all you want during the regular season. It's good for good for money, good for selling tickets, but are they going to win when it really matters? Alpern. Bama de Bio. Because that's, that's the reason why, like, for me, I'm not saying I don't love baseball, but it's like, it's such a long season, and then being a Dodgers fan, growing up here being a Dodgers fan, especially the last, like, maybe 10, 15 years, you know, Dodgers always do well during the regular season, but just hadn't really won, right? They were always there, but never really won. So it's like, to me, it doesn't even matter how many games you win, right? During the regular season. If you get in, you have to win, you know? To make a big difference, I guess. That's just me just kind of being spoiled in a sense. You know, some teams, of course, can't even, like, win games. And still, obviously, you know, believe. <laughs> Seth Curry, but... I mean, yeah, they're pretty good right now, though. Which is good for baseball and good for the hobby, honestly. But good for them, though. Good, good, good for them. I'm just like, imagine, let's say the Yankees do go all the way, they win. Do you still see Aaron Judge, like, leaving? Because technically, he had said, right, like, he's not going to... Negotiate anymore right after the, the that deadline he gave and technically can be a free agent. You know? Well, I've been doing it all day, Corey. This is nothing actually. You should have seen it earlier when I was doing when I was doing the top spray. It was ridiculous. Jalen Suggs, rookie, Austin Reeves, AR-15, to 49, nice one there for the Lakers, and the Pacific. Yeah, well, the Yankees can afford it. I was, <laughs> I didn't listen to ESPN Radio early in the morning, but I seen on Facebook they were talking about uh, the Angels slash Dodgers, how, like, supposedly Art Moreno is kind of dreading having to f soon pay potentially Otani, Trout, and I think, obviously, I think they're paying Rendon a shit ton of money, like, over $130 million per year for those three players that, like, it's making it a possibility <laughs> that... He might, like, trade Otani, which sounds dumb, but they were just like, I don't know, man. Like, the fact that they're not obviously still winning too much is not helping, but they had brought up that Dodgers are just going to have to trade for Otani. <laughs> I was like, man, the Dodgers players are delusional, man. They just wanted to get everybody. Kessler Edwards. Uh, Brooklyn, which is the Atlantic.
I think they would trade Ota- uh, Trout before Otani for sure. But it's just... How could you possibly see them trade any of those guys? Like, it sucks. It's just, I don't know. We'll see, I guess, but... If they don't produce wins, right? I mean, you're going to have to probably let one of those guys go eventually. All right, so here you go. So, guys, nothing super crazy here in this first box. Got some nice colors, though. And boom, there you go. Appreciate it, guys. So this was break number one. Number two is in the store, jazbeescagebreaks.com.